Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn another important function in Microsoft Excel that is sum if s function in Excel. Now sum if s function is basically adds all of its arguments that meets multiple criteria. Now what does it mean? I will explain you with the help of an example. Here we have the have three columns in which the first column is of product, second is of region and the third is of sales. So this data is showing that 100A products sold in the region east, uh, 150B product sold in the region west. Similarly, 200A products sold in the east region, 120C products sold in the north region. So the, this is this is a small data, but this uh, such functions are usually of much importance when you have a huge data. So uh, the the purpose of showing this small data is just to make make you learn that how you can use in, and in what situation you will use some if s function. So what we have to do are the main purpose here is the what we have to do is we have to calculate the total sales for product A in the east region. So here there are two conditions. So when you want to add up some values on the basis of multiple criteria. Here the criteria is product A and East region. So if you want to add the sales that belongs to product A and in the East region, you need to use the sum if s function. But how? Let's see. So I will click on this cell in which the sum I, I want the sum to be displayed and then I will press equal because it's a function or it's a formula. So sum if s. Keep this in mind, we have to select sum if s. Now, first of all, we have to select sum range. What is the sum range? Is the basically the numeric, it should be the numerical value that needs to be add to be added together. So I am going to select this range. This is the sum range. Next argument is criteria range one. So, first of all, we have to select first range which criteria we are basically applying here. So the first criteria is the product A. So for that, we have to first select the range in which that product is falling. So this is the range. Then we will press uh, enter co comma and then the criteria. Now, what is the criteria? The criteria is the product should be A. So I'll write the product in the uh, the criteria in inverted commas because it's a text. Then we have to add another criteria. Another criteria is East region. It means it will be on in the, on this column. So I'll select this column. This first we have to select the, that range and then we have to write the criteria that is east. So I have to write east in inverted commas and that's it. So if you have multiple criteria, you will carry it on. First you have to add the range and then you have to uh, write the value uh, or the criteria specifically that you want. Then I will close it and then I will press enter. So it has given me 300. How it has given me 300? Keep this in mind that this criteria will be with AND. That is, the criteria should be product A as well as East region. So let's see where it is, uh, how it is calculated. Product A is here. So I will highlight the product A and the East region. So then here is also the product A and East region. Then here is also the product A, but here if I this is product A. So again, this is a product A. This is meeting the criteria, but here it is north region. So it is not meeting the criteria. It means we cannot take this row for addition. We can only take these two rows for the addition. So that's why the answer is 300 because it has added this row value and this row value. So the sales of A East region and the sales, sales of A East region in these two rows. 200 plus 100 equals to 300. So it has not ad added this one because both the crit criteria are not met here. So this is how you can use some if as a function in Excel by applying multiple criteria. The criteria could be multiple. It all depends on you what you want. And that uh, it depends on you that how you can calculate how you want to add the values or how, how many conditions you want to apply while ad adding. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.